What's going on you guys? It's your boy Tattooed Angler here and I'm about to hit the water for a few hours before it gets dark. I'm going to head down to the mighty Ohio River to see what I can get into. Uh, please make sure to comment and subscribe on this video because if you comment, you are automatically entered in for the contest. This is the video that you need to comment on. But time is of the essence. Let's get to fishing. All right, so I was gonna fish this area, but a couple people that I just saw walk by, they said that they haven't caught anything here, and they've been catching stuff over there. So I'm gonna go this way and see what we can do. Oh, all right. Let's head down to this spot. Maybe we can get a good spot for the evening bite. A lot of people like to come down here around this time, so I don't want to intrude on anybody. But I'm definitely coming down here. I'll find a way somewhere. All right, so what I'm doing is letting it drift, popping it up, and reeling in my slack. Feeling for a bite. Hopefully something pops off within the next hour because it's going to be dark here soon. Keeping my rod tip high. Slowly reeling in my slack. Keeping an eye on my line and feeling for the, feeling for the thump. Alright, when you got windy days like this, you got to use the wind to your advantage. So, I'm just drifting it, casting it into the wind. Let it fall, pop it. Just let the current take it because right now i don't know i have no idea where the fish are so that's the best option for trying to locate fish especially in ohio river i mean the wind can be annoying but you got to do what you can with what you got i am ideally not using the best river setup right now because i have a medium light <laughs> with four pound mono on and uh and a eight ounce jig head but it works i've caught fish with it all right so i went ahead and switched presentations i got a, a gulp alive on a little baby they look like little flukes anyways but they have sent to them There we go, guys. Thumped it. There we go. There we go. Got me a sauger. All right. Awesome. There we go, guys. He's about 13 inches. He's not able to keep. There he goes. All right. It worked. Boy, he thumped the bejesus out of it. I'll tell you that much. It's almost like he ain't ever ate before in his life. There we go. Come on in. Come on in, come on in. Definitely a sauger. Definitely. Nice size one too. When y'all keep it? It looks to be of size, close maybe. Well, you die. Right. All right for me. <laughs> a 
You them little hair jigs, huh? Mm-hmm. And little feather jigs. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, we got two on the board now. Let's go ahead and see if we can get us another one. There we go, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, this might not be... Well, maybe it's this over. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I knew I was getting popped over there. Come on. Ooh, it's a nice one. All right. Oh yeah, he's definitely a keeper. <laughs> like 15, 16 at least. Woo! All right. All right, thanks. <laughs> no problem. Hey guys, that's number three. I knew I felt that thump. That one was nice. That one was probably like, I don't know, maybe, I'd say at least 15. Let's see if we can get us another one. All right, guys, we got about another 20 minutes. Let's see if we can get four. I think we can. Just casting it into this seam and letting Letting the work of the current do everything. Oh, good lord. Hey, we've had a good, uh, like, 20 minutes or so. We caught those two. I want to see if I can still get that one more. We, we got three total. And I've only been down here an hour and a half, give or take, two hours. Come on. There we go, guys. <laughs> Got him. Come on. That was it. We needed just that one more. Come on. Come on, come on. Uh, he might be a size. I don't know. There we go, guys. That's the last one. Whoop. Swing between my legs. Well, guys, it's about to get dark, so that is going to go ahead and conclude this episode. All right, guys, I just got back to the car, and I just want to say that this nighttime mission was successful. I wish that I didn't have to work in the morning so I would still be out there but we caught four sauger, one being 13 inches, the other two being 14, the, or one of them being 14 out of the, the bigger ones, and one being probably like 15, maybe close to 16. I don't know, I just uh, gave them to that nice gentleman that's down there because I didn't bring my stringer with me. Next time, stringer's coming in the bag. But if you like what you see, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. Boop. And if you aren't subscribed already, then go ahead and please consider subscribing. This is Tattooed Angler, multi-species angling. Got it done within the two hours I was here. But I got to hop up out of these waders, get home, make dinner, and then put my sweet self to bed. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.